Hello everyone, apologies for the delay on this video, but today we are going to be checking out Trails from Zero. Let's begin! Okay, so we're going to be checking out the Collector's Edition for Trails from Zero. Um, I believe this is a re-release. Uh, it was only released in Japan at some point, and then they just recently localized this um, to the West. So, uh, as usual, it's usually uh, NIS America does the localization for these. Alright, so packaging is pretty standard. Um, you got all the main characters here. It's pretty good, actually. Um, again, not exceptional. It's good, but, you know, it's standard. Alright, but we are here for what's inside. So, what do we get? We get the deluxe edition of the game. This here. So we get the deluxe edition for the game. Okay, so we get a cloth poster. Okay, so I believe this cloth poster is pretty much just the blown up version of this one. And next up, we get our usual ooh, hard covered art book. Nice. All right, all right. Very cool. Yeah, I like these hardcover art books. They're pretty thin, to be fair, but I like them. It, it it looks honestly, it looks good on the bookshelf. That's one of the reasons I like them so much. Okay, uh, okay, an empty CD case. No, no, I'm kidding. It's a steel book. Um, but. Again, I'll go in a little rant on this about a little later. We get... <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so we get our... Okay, so we get our... Um, I believe this is like the acrylic stand uh, figurines. Um, well, acrylic uh, stands, I would say. But it's nice, to be fair. Um, not my cup of tea, but... They're not that. And finally, okay. We do get our OST. Um, hmm. I'm a little confused. So, it says soundtrack, but it's about 10 tracks. Um, I actually do not know if I can cons you can consider this a soundtrack or like. A sound sample <laughs> but um you know what let's take it for what it is let's uh call it a soundtrack so let's go through the items one by one um okay so soundtrack fairly standard uh nothing here to s nothing like more to say about it this is standard for most NIS Falcom games that I get from NIS America. Again, not bad. Um, I've seen better though. Uh, usually goes around to 15 to 20. Sometimes the better ones come with like two disc tracks and it's full. So, I don't know. You know what? Let's actually open it. So, the funny part with uh, soundtrack is you can see how much... <sighs> How much of the disc it actually eats? Uh, let's see. Okay. Alright, alright. Inside is nice. 
Okay, uh... I'd say about 50% of the disc. If you look at that small groove, or if you see like the difference in color, um, that is what signifies that it's written, or something is written in there. So, if you look at the disc, it looks like it's around... It's not even full. This is a regular ass CD, so... 760 megs less than a gig um yeah it feels like it's a sound sampler honestly based on how the this is actually filled up that actually looks like a sound sampler um next up is the clock poster okay let me open this up really quick i I rarely want to open this because it's hard to put back. It's not like I'm going to display it. I'm going to go back into the box. <laughs> okay, honestly, this is a lot better than the other clock posters that it, you get. Um, let's see here. So the edges are actually, like, I like the trim on it. It's not like just cut off cloth. I'll put up, uh, I'll put up some, <clears throat> yeah. Ooh, this one looks like it's been damaged. Looks like it's a little damage there, a little fraying. But otherwise, I like the edge trimming on this. So... You know what? This one is actually pretty good. Not bad. Um, it's a lot better quality than the previous one they did. The previous one was pretty atrocious. It's literally just like nylon cloth. And like they just cut it off. It's not like trimmed properly. Alright, and the game. So I am assuming this one has a... Uh, some DLCs on it, or some codes, or I don't know. Let's open it up. Ooh, has a flip cover. Nice. Okay, that's nice. Uh, the cover is actually uh, flippable. So, you know what? Uh, what do you guys think? I actually prefer this. So uh, I'll flip it. Cause these look these look cool. Uh, all right, let's flip it over. All right, man, that looks cool. I love these flippable covers for disc. Um, it also... Let's see. Mm, yep, it has a digital download or soundtrack download on it. Also, an IS store. Okay. So the regular bonuses that you get um, from these kinds of uh, collector's edition. So it's not bad. I'll leave it like this. I like this flip cover. <laughs> okay. Next up is nylon. Or not nylon, sorry. Acry the acrylic stand stand-ins. Okay. Let's put it here. Alright, I'm not going to unwrap this individually. So, what do you get? You get one. Two. Three and four. So I guess the four main characters. That's not bad. Huh. All right, let's put them back here. Ooh. Okay. Uh. All right. You know what? I'll move it later. Okay, let's do the art book. Art book is a little thin. 
lacking a bit of content. Um, to be fair, it is an art book and or I guess data book from the looks of it. Has some key art here at the end from what I imagine. Yep, key art. Oh man, this looks cool. This one looks cool. I like this. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Little, again, little, uh, how do you say this? A little light on the content when it comes to the art to other hardcover art books. Um, but it's nice. At least they packaged it properly. Okay. I've been, I've been like trying to not talk about this. Um, okay. So, a steel, including a steel book on your collector's edition without any content inside is one of the most wasteful things I've ever seen collector's edition do. NIS is notorious for this. And oh my god. I, I, I wish they would do something about it. Like at least put put the game inside the steelbook and not like package it. And, ugh, it's wasteful. And that's my that's my pet peeve on these collector's edition that put like a steel cover with zero content on it. So I mean, what's the point? Is it just a steel cover or anyway? Rant over. Uh, I I I I I deducted points for um from the near collector's edition. Uh because of because of that practice as much as i love it it's one of the best collector's edition i've got it's almost it's as you can say you know the pun it's near perfect uh um but yeah it, it's kind of wasteful when it comes to packaging like you, you don't if, if you're gonna include okay tip uh, I mean, they know this. I don't know. I still don't know why they keep doing it. But, like, you can use a steel... I'm not saying that you can't use a steel book or a steel sleeve. But if you're going to use it, at least put something inside it. And not just, like, here's, a, here's an empty CD container. Like, dude, come on. At least, if you're going to put the game on there that that's fantastic or even i believe tales um tales from zelia the original collector's edition for it uh they actually put the soundtrack inside the the steel case so that's a good way to use it rather than using the crystal um the crystal case the plastic case for for disc for the disc I mean, other than that, it's fine. Uh, again, I like the hardcover art books. I, I really am a sucker for hardcover art books. The content of it is a bit lacking compared to hard, other hardcover art books where it's thick. Hard, other hardcover art books I got or information books that I got is pretty thick. Um, yeah, so... This is my pet again. I'll, I have to take off some points for it, um, just because of the wasteful use of a steel book. It's honestly, this is one of the best posters, cloth posters they got, just because they finally did a proper trim on the edge, rather than like just cutting a nylon cloth at the end and there's like frayed edges on the nylon cloth. That's so bad. Uh Otherwise, honestly, it's fine. Pretty standard. I believe it's still available. Um, I'll put it up on the screen right now. It's, uh, the availability of this collector's edition. But again, if you're a fan of trails, uh, if you can get this at a reasonable price, go crazy. Because this is actually a, pr a really good franchise to get into. All right. Uh, that is it. If you have any questions for this collector's edition, leave a comment down below. I usually try to answer it. Uh, for now, 
See ya.